Hello everyone, welcome to my course on SAP HANA. So first of all, what is this SAP HANA? So SAP HANA is actually a database uh, introduced by SAP, SAP and uh, HANA stands for High Performance Analytical Appliance. Now, uh, what is this SAP HANA? So there are some key terminology mentioned here. You can see like uh, it is in memory, column oriented and combination of hardware and software and it processes massive real-time data so basically it is a relational database management system so sap hana is a, a, a relational database management system and it is column oriented and it uses in-memory storage to provide the faster access and processing uh, of data than possible with the traditional persistence storage database uh, you can use hana on premise or in the on cloud like uh, if you want you can use it uh, in on premise also or cloud version is also available so uh, with sap hana you can store and retrieve application data you can perform advanced analytics including predictive and uh, stream analysis you can perform a special data processing also and you can also perform like etl operations like extract transform and load processes okay so now uh, let's talk about uh, uh, th there is a term here like uh, it is column oriented it, by default it is a column oriented database but uh, raw uh, based uh, like raw storage is also supported in SAP HANA uh, but uh, by default it, it will be like column oriented only so let's talk about like what is a raw stored database and a column stored database like what is the basic difference uh, why uh, we need this uh, raw stored or column stored database so talking about like uh, first like uh, relational database uh, uh, basis uh, typically uses raw based uh, data storage like uh, however column based storage is uh, more suitable for many business applications and sap hana supports both raw based and column based storage and uh, particularly op and it is particularly optimized for column based storage only okay but you can see here uh, like a database table is conceptually a two dimensional structure composed of cells arranged in uh, raw and column like you can see here this is raw and column okay so like because computer memory is structured linearly uh, there are two options for the sequence of cell valued stored in a contiguous memory locations that is raw storage and column storage so in raw storage uh, like uh, uh, it stores table record in the sequence of raw like here you can see like one raw of uh, data has been uh, stored in raw one and raw two data has been stored in raw two and in column storage like it stores a table records in the sequence of column that is the in Entire, that is the entries of a, a column is uh, stored in a contiguous memory locations like you can see like it is uh, the country column is directly stored in one column uh, okay and the product uh, is uh, directly stored in one column and sales is directly stored in uh, one column okay and here also you can see like uh, how raw and column storage is actually uh, done like raw is uh, done in uh, raw based and column is done, done in column storage is done, done in column based so now like uh, traditional database stores uh, data simply in raw but uh, the hana in memory database stores data in both raw and columns and it is a combination of both storage approaches that uh, produces the speed flexibility and performance of the hana database uh, now talking about hana database uh, storage types like uh, hana systems uses multiple storage type to process your uh, workload no. like the type used uh, determined by the data and the con configuration you are using with uh, your database and typically hana determines the ap appropriate type automatically but you are also able to manually conf configure the storage if necessary like we will see in the sql operations like how we can change uh, a raw stored table into a column stored table and a column stored table into a raw stored table we can alter these things and uh, there are some uh, typical advantages and disadvantages of both column and raw stores data so like column storage uh, is the default data storage in the hana and using column storage you can uh, read write uh, 
you can read or write to individual columns uh, in a data row without having uh, to the call uh, the entire row and this is one factor that makes the uh, data retrieval and processing with the hana fast and column based storage enables you to like analyze uh, application data in real time efficiently you can efficiently compress the data in uh, tables with large number of rows and you can use full index of the data and you can also use the high performance data markers but uh, like raw storage uh, has also some uh, certain advantages like uh, raw storage is traditional storage method for database it is uh, not typically used in hana because it is a slower system and column storage can generally provide the same functionality uh, and the two exceptions where uh, raw storage is needed like if you uh, need an application to be frequently accessed uh, single rows in your database or want to use uh, global table temporary global temporary tables then you have to use the raw storage mm database now there are uh, some certain advantages of uh, column based storage like uh, column based storage uh, gives you the faster access uh, of the data and uh, like only uh, like uh, it only affects the column have to be read during the selection process of a query and uh, like any of the column can serve as an index okay and it also gives us a better compression okay so uh, how uh, it uh, gives us a better compression is like uh, uh, column data storage allow highly efficient compression because uh, uh, the majority of the columns contains only a few distinct value okay and compared to like uh, if if in a column let's go back to a uh, uh, any table like if in a co column like here we have uh, india two times we are getting india and uh, like one distinct value is uh, the distinct value in this uh, country column is india germany and us so it will not uh, like here we are seeing that it has india india germany us but in in real time it is not stored like that it will store only uh, distinct values like it will store only india germany and us okay so it will not store india two times just for the demonstration purpose they have shown it here but it will not store india two times okay so it is clear that uh, because of uh, uh, storing only distinct value uh, the column storage can uh, compress the data uh, like uh, efficiently better than the raw storage and it also gives us better parallel processing so what better parallel processing means like uh, in in a column store storage like data is already vertically partitioned okay you can see uh, like here the data is vertically partitioned okay and in the raw storage data is horizontally partitioned so like in the parallel processing uh, data is already vertically partitions uh, and this means that operations on different columns uh, can easily be processed uh, uh, in parallel okay and if multiple columns need to be searched or aggregated each of these operations uh, can be assigned to a different processor core okay like uh, if multiple operations is uh, going on so in our database we, we can assign those uh, uh, tasks to different processor core okay and uh, there are also some advantage and disadvantage of uh, raw based uh, table like uh, we, we should have uh, discussed it here only but uh, now I have got it in the mind so uh, let's uh, discuss it better uh, like better to discuss is it than uh, leaving it okay so like raw based table have advantages in the following circumstances like uh, if the application needs to process only a single record uh, at one time uh, then you have to use raw based table okay and if the, your application is typically needs to be access the complete record okay then also you have to use some you have to use only uh, raw based table and uh, if you are using uh, neither aggregation nor fast searching type of application then uh, raw storage is best okay and uh, like the table uh, has a small number of rows if your table has a small number of rows then you should use uh, raw storage table and uh, like raw based tables have disadvantages like in case of analytical app applications where the aggregations are used uh, and faster search and processing are required then uh, raw storage uh, database is not uh, suggested okay like in raw base table all the data in raw has to be read even uh, through the requirement may be uh, there to access data from a few columns okay so we have already uh, 
discuss the advantages of column based storage now let's talk about what is this in memory so in memory concept is like uh, in the hana database uh, is uh, for transactional and analytical workloads with uh, any type of uh, data uh, on a single data copy okay and it breaks down the transactional and analytical silos in organization for quick decision making uh, like on on premise or in the cloud so basically in simple words if we can understand it uh, like uh, it is uh, in memory means all the data is uh, stored in ram only okay like all that like we do not uh, keep a hard disk like we keep a hard disk also like there is data like also provided in the um, sap hana database uh, that is separate but uh, most of the data is actually stored in a uh, ram only okay so what happens that uh, like uh, there is uh, no wasting of uh, time in loading uh, the data from hard disk to ram uh, like while processing uh, we are processing the uh, uh, data in the ram only so there uh, there will be no time wasting in taking data from a hard disk and processing it uh, again into the RAM. So uh, some data uh, are in on disk temporarily. Okay, and everything is in memory all the time. So which gives the CPU quick access to the uh, data processing. Uh, so there is a huge uh, time saving also in SAP HANA. Now uh, let's uh, talk about uh, something. Uh, which is architecture of SAP HANA. So SAP HANA has uh, mainly uh, like name servers, index server uh, and some access uh, servers like uh, access advanced runtime, access uh, classic server and uh, extended store servers and SDI server and data provisioning server, uh, streaming cluster. So these are actually the main uh, components of uh, sap hana database system uh, now like uh, sap hana uh, system uh, comprises of all the server components of an installation of sap hana okay so an sap hana uh, system consists of uh, several servers uh, we have already uh, we can already see that like it has several servers and the most important of which is like index server okay so index server is uh, like it contains the actual Mm. and data stores the engines like uh, it contains the actual uh, data uh, stores and uh, the engines for the processing of the data okay now we have name server here so a uh, name servers owns the information about the topology of sap hana systems okay and in a distributed system uh, with instance of sap hana database on multiple host the name server knows where the components are running and uh, which data is located on which server okay and now we have access advanced uh, runtime server so this is it is uh, an additional runtime environment for application development basically uh, it is sap hana extended application service okay so access uh, is an uh, uh, short form used for uh, ext uh, extended advanced service uh, and uh, like uh, an advanced model it is it is an advanced model so sap hana access advanced model represents an evolution of the application server architecture within sap hana by building upon the strength of sap hana extended application service okay and uh, one uh, that is uh some more points about like uh, access advanced runtime server is like it consists of several processors for platform services and for extending uh, applications and also um, sap hana access advanced runtime runs either on dedicated host or together with the uh, sap hana components on the same host also on also now talking about like access classic uh server we have here okay so this is also a part of uh, sap hana application uh, extended application service uh, and uh, it is the application server for uh, native uh, sap hana based web applications and it is installed with sap hana system and allow developers to write and run sap hana based application without the need to run an additional application server okay and sap hana access is also used to run web based tools that comes with sap hana 
for instance for uh, for instance for administration life cycle management and development and sap hana access classic is uh, original implementation of uh, sap hana uh, extended application server okay and uh, like the access classic server can run as a separate uh, server process or uh, embedded with the index server also okay and uh, now we have uh, like sti server so sti stands for uh, hana develop our deployment infrastructure uh, so sap talking about sap hana deployment infrastructure server like uh, it handles the de deployment of design time arti artifacts into sap hana okay and uh, after that we have uh, extended store server so uh, the extended store server is part of sap hana dynamic or tearing option for sap hana and it provides a high performance disk based column store for very big data up to like petabytes of range so a petabyte means it's a very 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 uh, large kind of data like uh, if i'm not wrong then uh, like 1 gb means uh, 1024 mb and 1024 gb means uh, uh, 1 terabytes uh, sorry 1024 gb means 1 uh, terabyte yeah and 1024 terabyte means 1 petabyte okay so you can uh, like imagine how big our data it deals with okay and now we have a data provisioning server uh, so data provisioning servers uh, is a part of sap hana a smart data integration option for sap hana and it provides capabilities such as data provisioning in uh, real time and batch model so real time data transformation uh, data quality functions adapter for various types of remote sources and adapter sdk for uh, developing additional adapters so that we can uh, do with uh, a data provisioning server after that we have uh, a streaming cluster so this is the streaming cluster is a part of sap hana smart data streaming option for uh, sap hana so smart data streaming extends sap hana with uh, capabilities of uh, sap event uh, stream processor for consuming data stream and uh, for complex event processing so uh, this is all about like uh, sap hana architectures uh, and some more important points like if you want to connect any uh, web based tools so that we can connect with actually uh, extended uh, application service like access uh, servers so uh, any web based uh, tools we can connect uh, using http protocol with uh, extended application servers and if you want to connect like uh, uh, client applications or uh, any uh, like hana studio you want to connect uh, from our uh, hana database that we, that we can actually uh, connect to the index server okay uh, so this is all the basic uh, theories about uh, sap hana and uh, now we will see that how we can create actually uh, our trial account on uh, hana cockpit and then uh, we can how we can use uh, hana database base explorer hana cockpit uh, uh, so that uh, we will see in upcoming videos please check the whole playlist for the detailed learning and like and subscribe to the channel thank you so much guys